Israel's ambassador to India, Reuva Azar, is joining us. Uh, ambassador Azar, thank you so much for, uh, for your time here on NDTV. Iran says thank you, Maria, for having me. Iran says that early morning strikes caused limited damage. But Israel, of course, is claiming that it now has wider freedom to open in skies over Iran. What is the truth here, Ambassador? Because certainly what we are seeing is the usual fog of war play out here. Well, uh, what Israel did is a very precise strike that uh, took out is, uh, Iranians defense systems, air defense systems, and targeted uh, very precisely military installations connected to their missile and drone program, different uh, bases around Iran that were producing um, missiles and, and, and drones. So the signal here is very clear. First of all, Israel will not agree to continue to be attacked by Iran, either directly or indirectly. And the second thing is that Iran now is completely exposed because Israel has the capability, if Iran chooses to continue this escalation, to hit many more targets in Iran. You know, of course, you're warning that Israel, you know, Iran will pay a price if there is second round of uh, escalation. But Ambassador, Iran is prepared to respond to any Israeli aggression is what Iran's semi-official uh, news agency is reporting. Uh, there is no doubt that Israel will face a proportional reaction for any action it takes is again, that is being uh, quoted as per the sources there. So how does Israel see this possibility of beginning of a new round of escalation? Well, we are ready for it. We are ready for it because uh, we are completely co coordinated with our allies, especially with the United States, that is completely backing our move. Uh, it is very clear for any spectator, including your viewers, Maria, that uh, Israel could, could have done much more uh, to inflict damage on Iran, but it, it chose to limit its response out of responsibility because we want to stay focused on the aims of this operation that the Israeli cabinet has determined, to completely eradicate the military capabilities of Hamas, to bring back our hostages, and to make sure Hamas doesn't rearm and regroup again. And in the north, we want to bring our communities back to the border areas from which they were evacuated as a result of the attacks from Hezbollah. So we are operating there as well. We have uprooted the military infrastructure that Hezbollah and the Rabban forces has been created there for decades. And we will not agree that Iran will try to intervene in that, that Iran will attack Israel. And if they continue doing that, Israel will feel free to act in a much more decisive manner. Given the nature of escalation, as has played out uh, in recent weeks, Ambassador, uh, is there a sense that this, this is a never-ending war uh, with, with uh, no solution in sight? Well, uh, from the moment that the Iranian regime has decided that it wants to eradicate the state of Israel, eliminate our country, yes, we are in a conflict that seems that will never end. However, Israel is taking action to defend itself, and we have created a situation for the first time after many years in which Hamas can no longer attack Israel with their missiles, in which the leadership of Hezbollah is eliminated, in which our, uh, the threats against our communities in the northern border are uprooted. And now it's up to the Iranians to accept the new reality. And if they don't accept the new reality and come to the table to create a more stable situation in our region, they will pay the price of escalation. So are you saying that all these uh, attacks uh, uh, you know, on military installation is essentially to ensure that Iran comes on the talking table, that there is still a possible uh, you know, route of diplomacy available here? Well, there's always a, a route for diplomacy. And Israel, uh, as you remember very well, wasn't the, the party to you know, start this war. We were aggressively attacked, atrociously attacked by Hamas on the 7th of October, one year ago, and we want to restore peace in our region. We are prepared for diplomacy, but this diplomacy has to lay on the foundations 
of the understanding on the other side that Israel will be relentless. We will not rest until we are sure that assurances for our security are met and we are going to, of course, maintain the right for self-defense against any aggression in the future. So if this is self-defense, but uh, okay, let me also uh, give Iranian point of view, which is coming in from their state TV. They are saying that uh, the loud noise or blasts may have been heard because of activation of air defense system. And uh, they were able to prevent uh, the necessary or, or the extent of damage. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm happy that they are downplaying it. Maybe it's a sign that they are not interested in continuing this, uh, uh, th this aggression. Uh, anybody that knows something about military capabilities knows that the S-300 that the Iranians have uh, are not capable of stopping uh, the F-35s and F-16 of the IDF, are not capable of stopping our pilots from hitting any target in Iran. So they can, of course, continue saying what they want to say, but the situation is very clear and the message has been conveyed in a very clear way. All right, Ambassador, thank you for speaking to NDTV.